What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike and I'm back at again with another video and Apple Pay Later is finally here at least for a limited amount of users right now and I talked about this about nine months ago but we're going to go over everything that Apple Pay Later has to offer in today's video as well as give my thoughts. Let's get right into the video. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go. Apple Pay Later is just Apple's take on the buy now pay later service. If you don't know what these services are, they essentially allow you to buy a product and pay it later. So you might buy a product for say $150, $200 today, and you can pay for it over a course of six weeks without any fees or interest or anything like that. That way, if you're not able to afford something today, or you simply just don't want to pay all the money up front today, then you can pay for it over time. Now, I have my own personal thoughts and reserves about that, which we'll get into later in the video. But regardless, let's talk more about Apple Pay Later. Apple Pay Later will allow users to split purchases into four different payments with zero interest and no fees. You can spread those four payments over a six week period with, like I said before, no interest and no fees. According to Apple, users will be able to easily track, manage, and repay their Apple Pay Later loans in one convenient location inside the Apple Wallet app. But users can apply for loans as little as $50 or as high as $1,000 on Apple Pay Later. When you go ahead and apply for a loan on Apple Pay Later, Apple is actually going to do a soft pull in your credit so that won't impact your credit score, which is also great. With this service officially launched last week and you have to be on iOS 16.4 or higher to go ahead and take advantage of this service. Right now, it's only going out to random users who are eligible, but Apple says in the coming months, it'll reach more users that are eligible for the program. Overall, it seems like other buy now, pay later services, Apple is simply taking a dip in it and of course going to take over that market share as they can grab it. But what do you think of Apple Pay Later? Let me know down in the comment section below, but I'm going to give you guys my thoughts of what I think on the buy now, pay later system across all of these different platforms, as well as Apple Pay Later, which of course is another buy now, pay later service. So overall, what do I think? When it comes to buy now, pay later and the services in general, I personally just don't use them. I don't really like them and I honestly don't think they're that safe for the average consumer. It depends on the consumer though. I think Apple is right in the sense of everybody's personal financial journey is completely different and personal finance is just that. It's personal. It's personal to me just like it's personal to you. So our situations may vary and they will vary because we're all different people going through different things in life. So the entire process of you being able to take out a loan for about $50 up to $1,000 with Apple Pay Later is cool. And it's also nice that you have the ability to go ahead and pay it off over a six week period if you don't have that money up front. But my issue with buy now pay later services is that it's really only, I think, used properly for a specific person, someone that really doesn't have the money to go ahead and take care of whatever they need to take care of in the short term over a month period, pretty much. Maybe someone that's, you know, a little struggling for cash, they might need to get groceries or take care of their family or whatever. I think this is a great system for them and hopefully they can get out of that situation so they don't have to use these buy now pay later services. Hopefully they have the ability to get out of that situation so they can go ahead and just buy those things outright versus having to pay for it over time of what they have to do now. I don't think this is something that people should use if they have the money to do it because if you have the money to do it, then why not just use something like a credit card, specifically the Apple credit card because Apple, yes, offers a credit card is actually a very solid, great credit card that I recommend honestly to people, but only if you're going to use credit cards the right way. Credit cards also offer tons of different benefits that Apple Pay Later simply will not offer, such as purchase protection, such as cash back and other benefits that credit cards just generally have, like travel benefits and other perks. You're not going to get that with Apple Pay Later or likely any other buy now pay later service, but credit cards are a little bit different in the sense of you take on a little bit more risk and you're also worrying about interest and stuff when it comes to this credit card and other credit cards. But if you use credit cards the right way, in the right way, I mean by paying off your balance in full every single month, then guess what? You grab all the perks of using a credit card, you grab the perks of the purchase protection when you go and buy something, and you also don't have to worry about paying any interest or any fees. But if you're not going to use the credit card that way, then I would not recommend you get the Apple card or any other credit card. So like I said, these buy now pay later, pay later services are great, but they're only for, I believe, a specific person. So let me know if you use them in the comment section down below. Do I think anything is actually wrong with them? No, but I also don't want people to continuously stay in debt, even if you don't have any fees or interest. 
I don't think it's really necessary to keep yourself in debt just to say you have debt. I don't think that's really a good thing to have in general. Of course, there's good debt and bad debt, but that's a whole separate topic for a whole separate video. But on a brighter note, and also to close this video out, if anybody's gonna do buy now, pay later the best way, I think Apple will. And I say that because with the Apple credit card, which I rarely use anymore, because I have like 12 other credit cards for other reasons, definitely watch the videos if you linked up there. But for the Apple credit card in particular, and also Apple Pay Later, with that, you can go on the Apple Wallet app and go ahead and look at everything uh, when it comes to breaking down your finances, where you're spending your money at, how much you might owe in interest in the case of the Apple credit card, or how much you need to pay when it comes to Apple Pay Later on your next due date. So I think Apple does a really good job at just breaking everything breaking everything down in a very easy to use, um, I guess, understanding model, you know, uh, versus other credit cards. This is honestly the best user experience I've ever seen with a credit card. I mean, I've never seen a credit card actually tell you how much interest you're going to have to pay if you don't pay the card off in full by the due date. I have 12, 13 credit cards now, and none of those apps tell you that except for the Apple Card Wallet app. So, I think that's pretty cool in itself. Like I said, I think Apple does a good job and actually does care about their customers to an extent where they feel as though, oh, we, you know, it might work out. But of course, of course, like I said before, Apple's doing this to obviously kill off all, all the other competitors like Affirm, like uh, Klar Klarna, Klarna, I always say that wrong. So yeah, <laughs> the point is Apple's doing this for market share, which makes perfect sense. They want more people to buy iPhones. Same thing goes with this. You can't get an Apple card if you have an Android, you know? So it's just market share. I understand it. It's their business. I get it. No big deal there. But the point still stands. Are you going to use buy now, pay now? Do you, or I guess, do you use buy now, pay later? Are you going to get Apple pay later if you are eligible for it? And what do you think? Or should you just stick with credit cards like I do? Um, I love credit cards, but only if you use them the right way. Either way, that's all they got for today's video. That's pretty much it. That is Apple Pay Later, and that is my thoughts on it. What do you think about Apple Pay Later and my personal opinion as well, I guess, if you care? The links are down in the comment section, or the links are in the description, and the comments are in the comment section if you want to chat about it. Definitely would love to see what everybody thinks. I'm out. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay positive. Stay hydrated. I'll see you guys in the next video. Dollar Mike. Peace.